Hello everyone, welcome to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. While waiting for the first test launch of ULA's Vulcan rocket, I decided to make this contraption, which is a Kerbalized Vulcan rocket. Basically, it is seven Vulcan cores strapped together so that they are cross-feeding into each other, asparagus staging style, or what we used to call asparagus staging style, or maybe we still do, uh, where two of the boosters are feeding into two of the boosters, feeding into two of the boosters that feed into the core, and so two boosters will release first and then we proceed from there. The flaw to this with the Vulcan rocket is that it doesn't have much thrust to weight ratio uh, at, this, at the start and also it keeps dropping every time we drop boosters. So that makes it a little bit of a struggle to use this productively. What we have in the payload fairing, the huge payload fairing that you see there, is an ACES depot, which was one of ULA's plans. Uh, the idea is to have a hydrogen oxygen propellant depot. It's 130 tons. In this case, it will use some of its fuel to get to orbit. It has four RL-10s on it, and that was per the plan. Uh, in real life, uh, ULA would have actually launched it empty and then filled it up along the way. We're launching it full, and that's why we need all the boosters. Uh, so, yeah, it's a little bit tough to get this to orbit because of the low thrust weight ratio, and I almost feel like it might be better if we just don't cross-feed the fuel in. Uh, I'm not too sure. I didn't get around to checking that because that was the plan if ULA had a delay. As it turns out, ULA launched the Vulcan rocket on time, and so I didn't get around to checking that. I'm launching this in the RSS Reborn uh, install. As you can see, the volumetric clouds are quite beautiful, but also causing lag. Uh, so still uh, working with that and seeing what I can do. But I mean, it's not too bad. It's, it's workable. And so here, the final core burns out, and we have the four RL-10s to complete orbit. So there's just a quickie video uh, explaining this particular experiment and seeing what kind of capacity this Falcon rocket with seven cores could possibly have. And we are about to find out as we see how much of the propellant in the ACES depot we actually use. So the sun shield at the top is around the hydrogen tank and then the bottom tank is the oxygen tank in this case. Uh, we are too high so I decided to stop right there and coast to apoapsis. We actually toss it a little bit too high up. Probably there are ways of optimizing this trajectory but it's tough though with the low thrust weight ratio. We really need SRB straps to the side and that would be even more kerbalized <laughs> potentially. So. Yeah, uh, here I'm actually unlocking the hydrogen gas and oxygen gas tanks, and those are to run the RCS. The RCS actually uses hydrogen and oxygen gas, and we could use the boil off from the main liquid tanks, or we can just produce the hydrogen and oxygen gas by heating some up. And so that is what we're doing, and that allows the RCS to work, but the RCS is pretty darn weak. Uh, I'm a little bit thrown off also by the physics lag, it feels a lot weaker than it probably is because our time steps, well, we're taking more in real life seconds for each in game second. But anyway, we do get to orbit and find out exactly how much this uh, arrangement with Vulcan can carry. And on this test, it's basically 91 tons. But I think we could probably get it to 100 tons if we get a better trajectory. So that was the result, and I did this during the live stream. We had a lot of frustrations along the way with uh, trying to get the trajectory at least good enough so that we could get into orbit. I did dump the regular Centaur X stage because having two RL-10s is useless in this case. And there's the Sun Shield out, and it's ready to go uh, to supply anybody who needs some hydrogen and oxygen. So that was what I did while waiting for the Vulcan launch and my way of celebrating the success of the Vulcan launch. Uh, the Peregrine lander has had some problems, but the launch seemed quite successful. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.